53 years, a stiff sentence handed down today to convicted rapist Harvey Weinstein. The former movie mogul is expected to spend the night in a New York hospital and not prison. We're told he experienced chest pains hours after he was sentenced for rape and sex assault. Tonight, KCLI's Rachel Kim explains how his sentencing could impact his upcoming trial here in L.A. Disgraced Hollywood mogul Harvey Weinstein was handed a 23-year prison sentence today in New York for raping aspiring actress Jessica Mann and sexually assaulting production assistant Miriam Haley. The victims seemed satisfied with the punishment. Weinstein's attorneys had asked for the lightest sentence of five years, citing his age and frail health. The charges carried a maximum sentence of 29 years in prison. That sentence that was just handed down by this court was was obscene. That number was obnoxious. Uh, there are murderers who will get out of court faster than Harvey Weinstein will. Before sentencing, Weinstein addressed the court and, among other things, said about his role in the Me Too movement men are confused and losing due process. I'm worried about this country. Justice is done. Some kind of justice is done. For sex assault survivors like Brenda Gutierrez, who is the co founder of the Me Too Survivors March International, Weinstein's sentence sends a message. For the survivors that never got their day in court, for survivors that are scared to come forward, this gives hope. I hope he gets convicted here as well. Weinstein still also faces charges of raping one woman and sexually assaulting another in separate incidents here in Los Angeles. I hope this doesn't become a fight between two jurisdictions about who gets him because the rule of thumb is whoever has the body gets to keep the body. KCAL 9 legal analyst Steve Meister says because Weinstein is now a sentenced prisoner, New York authorities don't necessarily have to extradite him to L.A. In these situations where there's multiple jurisdictions that want to get their claws on somebody, the question becomes, is this going to be a good use of, of tax dollars and public resources and prosecutorial resources to keep trying him in multiple jurisdictions? Today, L.A. County District Attorney Jackie Lacey announced that her office has started the process of extraditing Weinstein here to California. He has yet to enter a plea in that case. Reporting from Studio City, Rachel Kim, KCAL 9 News.